All right, we're going to do carp sink on a Suzuki Katana today. Same thing for anything else on inline four, real similar practices. We got a real problem. Can you see the big gap between the throttle cam plate and then the adjuster screw? So you can see, here's that same Suzuki carburetor there. As we get ready to do synchronization, you're going to see that there's a lot that we can do on the bench. Any four cylinder like this, you're going to have three adjustment screws. So as we started cleaning carbs, I said that we always want to take this and we want to make sure that we're a certain position. Here's a nice uh, picture of that position that I'm talking about. That throttle plate right there, you can see where the arrow is pointing. There's usually three, sometimes five little holes there. Many service manuals will specify to put the throttle plate just forward of that first hole and that will get you a good baseline idle. What we're looking at on his bike and the thing we want to build a relationship to, he's got that big gap in there. Okay? Mm -hmm. And his throttle cable has free play. Usually what I'll do is I'll take the throttle cable off and make sure that the cable isn't hung up somewhere, but his cable will sit and flop all over there. So the cable's not holding it open. What in the world's holding that open? Let's look at our possibilities. Could it be that one of these were installed crooked and they're hanging it open? Could it be that this is bent yeah. from somebody doing a previous disassembly or something? Because if that's bent, that's going to hang it up. What we're really going to go focus on right now, I want to go look at the three, the three adjusters and I want to see if this spring is like severely compressed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to mess this one up. Let's prove a point. See what happened? Look familiar? If we look at that bracket and see that that's off of this carburetor, whatever the idle one is the base one. So on the bench on the rebuild, this is gonna be a good idea to always make sure that the butterflies will be able to hit against the stop. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up. Watch this, we just about get the thing to idle just by adjusting that center screw alone. Now you see we're actually turning the actual idle adjustment screw and we have room to go back and forth. Listen to that engine and see if you would have guessed that it's this far out of sync. Check out the gauges. one thing we have to do is check the tool so what we've done is we made a little manifold tool here and what we want is we need your caps because what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the gauges simultaneously and pull them off one vacuum what's that tell us about our gauges how off each gauge is from each other right so the last time these gauges were checked this one reads one less than that these two obviously read the same and that one reads two more so do you get what I'm saying? For us to truly sync this engine with this tool in its current condition, we have to actually have this one say minus one and this one say plus two. What we're adjusting is those adjustment screws that we talked about earlier here. There's the one for the middle two. We're gonna sync these two, these two, and then we're gonna pull them together. So all I have to focus right now is I'm gonna focus on a pair of gauges, dial it in, focus on the other pair and it's a really a back and forth process. What you might see or hear in the video, we're going to go ahead and speed this up, is sometimes it's easier to just kill the motor, tip the throttle plate to easier access the screw. Alright, let's go ahead and sync this. They're not too bad, let's focus on this one. just somewhat closer remember how jacked up these are right yeah. yeah so now we're just gonna switch to the middle one and you're gonna watch them pull around each other where people get into trouble is they're sitting here and they're trying to think about well should I go clockwise go counterclockwise don't think about it. just start turning the screw and once it just starts moving the right direction keep going that direction Let's focus that camera in on that throttle stop. Look at that, it's the craziest thing. 
we can actually use the idle now. <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's do a little checklist quick here. We want to make sure that the engine's fully warmed up. We've got a fan going across the engine because it's air cooled here. That's an important tip. Uh, not to overheat it and then we want to uh, do what we did is we synchronized our tool so that we know we don't have any issues there then we'll go ahead and get it hooked up and you saw how just start turning them it's nice to do pairs and then try and pull them together we were actually really good on this side we did next to nothing we just had some whacked out stuff because of people messing with screws there right and it still it even ran it didn't run terrible you're the owner didn't you say it didn't run too bad but man, this is how you do it fully right. Another thing, did you notice how every time you make an adjustment, we flip the throttle? Don't forget to plug any vacuum lines, like off the fuel valve or whatnot. Otherwise, all the work you did is going to be wasted. Harp Sync 101.